life again. How you doing out there? supposed to be actually in our garden but it was so rainy and stormy and oh, cold it's kind of chilly out there right? yeah so we thought like no uh, let's um, do it in our bedroom so we're in our bedroom so like a cow. and um, but I'm going to open up the doors for our neighbors so sh they can hear us because oh. last time they were enjoying us from their balcony but Unfortunately, we couldn't do that this time. But what we can do is play a song for the occasion. And uh, maybe Warren, you can already play a little intro to this song while I open up the doors for our neighbors. Yeah, why not? We're going to start calling it out. We're calling it out. Okay. <laughs>
this one was also specially dedicated to Louis Armstrong. The great Satchmo. And uh, Clark Terry. Clark one of Terry. My favorites. Yeah, yeah, man. Bad cat. Wonderful musicians. And now we are going to do something completely different. Yeah, I wonder what that could be. It's something from my old CD, Body Music. Oh, yes. Cooking. And so um, cooking, I, bet. I also have, of course, a new album. Let me show it to you. It's right here. That's right. Oh, there it is. It, wow. <laughs> Yeah, it's practically uh, playing itself already. It's so colorful, you know. Oh, what we got inside? Whoa, really sweet. I just love orange, you know. It's one of my favorite colors. You remember the Pittsburgh Steelers? Orange and black. That's right. So what we got now, baby pie? It's called Super Me. Oh yeah, be ready to do some boogieing in your pants.
also to something completely different now hey. because in um, in two weeks exactly two weeks Warren Bird is going to release re-release an album of 20 years ago tell us grand about release. the album it's a grand release that's what it is because I did a self-release over 20 years ago or uh, 20 years ago I did a self-release of the album and we were sitting around trying to twiddle our fingers, hunkered down from COVID-19, and this just trying to make uh, lemonade out of lemons. So we came up with this idea. Mm-hmm. Actually, she had to drag raised me into it. Raised twice. That is the name of Truth the album. Raised twice. That's the name of the album. And we are going to play a song of it. It's a bunch of nice numbers. It's very postmodern bebop. You should try it out. But actually, well, we're going to play a number from it, aren't we? No, we're oh. not going to play something else. But we're going to play one of your compositions. Oh, that's right. Why not me? Why not me? And go something like this. Thank you. 
<laughs> over there. Anyway, uh, I hope you are all listening. I, 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 I hope you can hear us. Wow, yeah, and, I know, uh, I know, I know, I know. This is Warren Bird's song, uh, Why Not Me? And uh, it's going to be on his latest um, LP. What album? Uh, CD. Which will be released on May 15, Friday, May 15. And um, we are going to continue with something else. I'm going to play the bass. Oh, yes. Yeah, and we're going to do a beautiful jazz song. <laughs> I wonder which one is that. I think it's called All the Things You Would Be If No. It's called All the Things You Are. It's a really nice number from way back when. Uh, I've heard of a guy named Jerome Kern or another guy named Oscar Hammerstein. Well, don't worry about all that. It's a really nice song. It's a love song. So I hope you enjoy it. It's a nice one. Hey, you ready for that bass yet? Nice beat to the song. Let's see about that for a second.
that's what you are. You are someday. That's a really one of my favorite all-time tunes, actually. Something called. Uh, hey, you want to do the naming of the song, or? Yeah, no, you. Okay. Well, to make a long story short, I remember there was this one summer I was having a really hard time getting through life, and uh, this became sort of my hymn song to that period. Oh, let me do. Um, but nonetheless, um, I made it through the summer, but I will always, uh, hold the song very dear. It's a Miles Davis number, uh, and some people say it was actually a Bill Evans number, but it's a nice one to play with Saskia, so it's called Blue and Green. <laughs>
was kind of uh, mesmerizing, Mr. Bird. I was in another world for a moment. And that is also the intent. Because, hey, hey, everybody's having a hard time. Some people have a harder time than others. But uh, we're here to make some nice music. And we're trying to, to ease your mind a little bit of, of that corona thing. And for that reason, we also have, have a song, a special song. It's uh, uh, a song that we already played before, but we keep on playing it because it's called Hold On. That's right. It's an anthem to help us get through. And in Dutch, it's called How Fall. Uh -huh. It's for the man on fall to how. Everybody, come on. Everybody there. You got to hold on. Into s we are not able to perform live, but at least you can see us live in your living room. And uh, you're not supposed to just sit down and listen. That's okay, too. But you're also supposed to clap and participate and everything. And that is the intent with the next song. Right, Mr. Bird? Yeah, why not? I say it's good to join in. I remember when some of my best times is when I joined in with whatever I was into. So just feel the beat and let it get to your feet. You can even sway in your seat. Come on. And just remember, we're going to hit this thing. We're going to hit this thing. We're going to win. So hold on. Thank you. 